Okay, the first presenter for the fast pitch is Echo Shore from Johns Hopkins University. Hi, I'm Dr. Devin Kuhn, Ch Chief Medical Officer of EchoSure and Surgical Resident at Johns Hopkins. Each year, thousands of patients will undergo reconstructive surgeries after cancer or trauma. However, many of these patients will go on to lose their reconstruction as a result of blood clots forming in the vessels after surgery. These patients currently have no solution to detect the problem while it's still able to be fixed. At EchoSure, we've developed the first monitoring technology that's able to non-invasively detect problems while they can still be taken back to the operating room and fixed in a way that can be used by nurses at the bedside. Our technology has patent protection and demonstrated proof of concept. It can also be used in vascular and transplant surgery, serving as a platform technology with tremendous opportunities for future growth. With your help, we believe EchoSure can come to market and help thousands of people while offering a potential $300 million market opportunity. Thanks. The next presentation is from Conduct Solution from the University of Michigan. How can you make your high-rise building more energy efficient and valuable? We at Conduct Solutions are going to utilize a resource that's already there in your high-rise building and is being wasted. To be precise, we're going to use wastewater. What are we going to do? We're going to take this wastewater in your building, run it through a turbine to produce a microhydro solution that generates electricity. This electricity will be switched back into your building, making you more energy efficient. At the same time, giving you lead points and tax credits that make you more valuable over time. The market for this opportunity is vast. We have about hundreds of new buildings, 2,500 in total worldwide that will be used for this. And we are perfectly positioned to exploit this. We are a team of four MBAs with expertise in policy, finance, electrical engineering, and mechanical engineering that are going to use this opportunity to create value for people who are building high-rise buildings. Finally, we'd like to leave you with a message. Us Iconic Solutions would like you to know, the next time you pee, think of clean energy. Okay, our third presenter is CTFA from Kennesaw State University. Hello, my name is Bailey Zhang, and I'm here representing Campus Tax and Financial Aid Services. We, there are over 13 million college students in the United States who receive financial aid. Because of a recent law, all college students who receive financial aid are required to file taxes and obtain a transcript directly from the IRS. Most of these college students have not ex had experience filing their tax. We provide a fast, easy, and cheap tax software that allows college students to e upload their tax documents directly into the tax forms using their smartphone. In addition to that, we also provide a database, a proprietary one, that allows college students to search for scholarships and financial aid options in one single location. This is an emerging market of $1.4 billion. In order to rapidly expand, over the course of next two years, we require a $2 million investment. You'll have to stop that. now. Thank you very much. Thank you. OK, next, neural analytics from UCLA. Traumatic brain injury could lead to the formation of a bleed in the brain. If left undiagnosed, this can be lethal. If diagnosed early, it's treatable. Currently, the method for diagnosis revolves, re requires a neurosurgeon to drill a hole in a patient's skull in an operating room to measure it. The chief of neurosurgery saw an unmet need and has developed a, a non-invasive method for measuring ICP. We're licensing this technology from him and the University of UCLA to develop a handheld portable ICP monitor and deploy it into the military and emergency medical response. This is a billion dollar blue ocean opportunity because there are currently no available non-invasive ICP monitors on the market. We built a strong team consisting of entrepreneurs, MBAs, and physicians to, to commercialize this opportunity. We're seeking $250,000 seed round to begin commercialization. Thank you. The next presenter is Red Duck Ketchup from the University of Oregon. Hi, I'm Shannon, and I'm with Red Duck Ketchup, and we're here to put the excitement back in America's favorite condiment. When we were young, we put ketchup on everything because it was fun and it was, it was exciting. But when was the last time you were excited about ketchup? We're here to change that with our specialty flavors made with organic ingredients. We have a great team with food startup, restaurant, marketing, legal, and financial experience. And we have great mentors who've already successfully launched national food brands from right in Eugene, Oregon, where we're located. We have stores eager to carry the product, and the best part is that every time we sample it out, people love it. We continually beat our competitors in blind taste tests. So we're asking for $500,000 in convertible notes. 
we anticipate this will convert to 15% equity in our company and a 40% return for investors. This allows us to expand up and down the West Coast, take our brand national, and be a part of the $700 million industry. Can't wait for you to taste it and tell us how you elevate your foods. Okay, the next presenter, <clears throat> Translacare from the University of Iowa. There are 15 million strokes that occur worldwide every year, and of the 10 million folks who live through this traumatic experience, about 40% of them literally lose the ability to speak and communicate with loved ones overnight. This translates into a legitimate billion dollar market opportunity comprised of 20 million people today with acquired speech language disabilities and another 4 million folks added to this patient population every single year. Translocare solution is proprietary software that enables these stroke survivors to communicate again with loved ones and caregivers and ultimately to rehabilitate their speech. We do have a working prototype that's been vetted not only by key opinion leaders and in independent market research, but also, most importantly, by a strategic who's definitively validated the need for this product as evidenced by their willingness to pay $250,000 a year to incorporate Translocare's proprietary software into their existing hardware package on a non-exclusive basis. So please help us to evolve of our working prototype into a fully up, a full up beta product that we can proceed with beta testing with this committed strategic partner. Thanks very much. The next presenter, Everfile Systems, University of Illinois at Chicago. The amount of data that exists today is expected to expand by over 50 times in the next eight years, leaving companies struggling to handle the expensive hardware and maintenance costs just to store and back up this data. The reason that this is happening is because the technology that's used today was written in the 1960s when the equivalent of big data was what you could store on your iPhone today. The Everfile system is a patented and revolutionary technology and methodology to change this trend. We offer companies up to an 80% reduction in storage costs and failure recovery rates over 1,000 times faster than what exists today, meaning that upon avoiding the first failure, the product has actually paid for itself. We are looking for an initial seed investment of $400,000, which we will match with $100,000 of founder investment, and bring us to a revenue generating model in one year. We've already acquired a beta customer and are ready to go with a massive large scale prototype. Thank you. The Fighting Bison, University of Manitoba. Hi, I'm Mike from Manitoba. I'm a food scientist. I love food and I'm the CEO of Bean Bread. Uh, we've seen an increasing uh, incidence of, of chronic diseases in North America, and Bean Bread thinks we have the solution. We have a line of baked goods made from bean flour. Our products are gluten-free, high in protein, high in fiber, and taste great. 80% of our test market said they loved our product. Uh, the gluten-free market has grown to a $1.5 billion industry with a 30% growth rate. We have, a, we have secured an agreement with Aramark, one of the world's largest uh, group purchasing organizations who provide food services for hospitals, cafeterias, and universities across North America. We have a production facility in place, and we've secured $1 million in low-interest government financing, which means that you and as, and as an investor get a much higher uh, return on your investment. What we're looking for is $400,000 for 50% of our, our company with an expected annual return rate of 111%. Thank you. <laughs> 